Yo, so what's going on guys, it's your boy Laser Gaming. welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys an insane unlimited money method. You could call it a money and RP method because you do also earn some very good RP using this method. But we're going to just stick to the money for now because that's what I know you guys are mainly interested in. Because you guys do have the potential to earn around half a million every hour or around 300k every 40 minutes which is just insane i must also add that this is a legit method and it works on all consoles so you guys won't get banned there's been tons of youtubers these days promoting old money glitches which has led to thousands of players receiving bans recently losing their garages as well as their ability to sell cars or even play online and i even seen a bunch of you guys hating on these other youtubers in my comments section saying have i heard about this prick this dickhead got me banned and i'm like boys i always tell you stay away from money glitches when you can make such good money legit so you guys would be really stupid to take the risk right now when you can earn such good money with no risks involved now some of you guys might know about this method in today's video but you're unaware of how to make it unlimited or you might need some players to do it with because unlike the majority of my money methods which are solo today's method isn't solo unfortunately but when you compare it to other methods that are going on right now that are solo this is hands down the best method to be grinding out as of right now so just last week rockstar games was offering double money and rp on all contact missions which has now ended now just yesterday rockstar games added the double money and rp promotion to all of the heists in the game now in this video we're going to be grinding out the fleece a job method i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have already played this before but you're unaware on how we can keep on repeating this method to make an insane four hundred and forty thousand dollars and that's just by itself without doing any of the elite challenges i must add that so i will explain more about the elite challenges in the video but if you guys do want to go for those you are going to also earn an extra 100k on top of this but like i said the bare minimum all of you guys will be earning is a very very nice 440k plus in this video i'm going to give you guys a bunch of tips and tricks that will save you guys a bunch of time and money as well as explaining how you guys can actually find a player to grind this method out with so as always if this video does help you out in any way shape or form and you do want to see more epic money making guides in the future all i ask is you return the favor with a like down below also feel free to subscribe as i do post the latest and greatest gta 5 content without further ado let's get into the video like I did mention earlier, you guys will need another player. If you guys don't have that many friends that play GTA, there's two options I'm going to give you here. You can go for both. One is to destroy my GTA crew. We are growing quite fast and we've got lots of members. I was always up for doing legit methods and races. Just a really good community. I'll leave a link to that um, GTA crew down below in the description. Or you can just simply leave a comment on this video saying what console you're on. Have you got a headset with your gamertag or your PSN? And I'm pretty sure someone will get back to you very quickly. So once you've got that, you've got another player. You basically need a high-end apartment. The cheapest high-end apartment to buy is a 200k one. It's called Del Piero Apartment 7. And as I make this video, there's actually 25% off that apartment. So you will be able to get it for only 150k, which is extremely cheap for a 10-car garage. However, once you've got that, you basically want to go to the high-end heist room. And if you guys don't have any heists on this board, you probably haven't gone to visit Leicester yet. So you've probably got a big L on your little GPS. Go and visit Leicester at his warehouse because that will basically unlock the heists for you guys. However, once you've done that, you simply want to go to your heist room and do as I do here. Launch the fleecer job, which is the first heist. Everyone has it. That's the reason I chose this method. Plus, it's extremely easy. However, once you guys have launched the job, you want to get your friend in and set the difficulty at the top to hard so you get that 1.5 RP in cash however once you've done that go ahead and launch the mission okay so you guys will notice once you guys launch the mission you'll be greeted with a cutscene there's a lot of these little cutscenes in between all the missions there's just three parts to this heist and seriously it's really quick you guys some guys can do it under 15 minutes I would average it at 20 minutes definitely no longer than 25 30 minutes if it takes you that long then you seriously need to up your GTA game however you guys will have to wait for the cutscene to finish because you can't skip it which is a bit of a shame because if you could skip these cutscenes this would be a 10 minute method I'm not even joking for example this first mission is called scope out the first setup should I say I keep saying mission because that's just instinct these little things are called setups so the first setup called scope out is extremely easy like this is probably easier than the first introductory mission all you guys basically have to do is get in Lester's car which should be parked directly outside your apartment 
drive over to the bank to basically scope it out. Lester will be filling you in on all the details of what you actually have to do, just steal a safety deposit box. And the player who's the non-driver, so as you can see my teammate is taking this role this time, he will have like a little mini game to complete, which is basically like the hacking. If you guys have ever hacked the laptop on any random mission on GTA, very similar, very easy. I'm going to show you guys what he has to do in a second. This setup literally is just driving from one point to another practically afk half the time because half the time you're just watching cutscenes so if you guys are like eating your dinner having a drink anything on the side you can practically do this heist at the same time it's that easy however once you guys have scoped out the bank it's at this time you'll be told to drive Lester back to the warehouse while you're doing that your teammate should be prompted with the little mini game to hack into the bank system so this is what the mini game looks like as you can see you basically just got to guide one dot to the other while avoiding a few blocks very easy and straightforward if any of you guys have played that classic game on your mobile phones back in the day called snakes then this is exactly what it feels like most of you guys should get the hanging of it after one or two goes however once you've completed that and you've dropped Lester over to his warehouse you simply just have to get out of the car swap cars meet up with Lester's contact page and then drive back to your apartment and that is the first setup done so it's literally playing a mini game for one of you and then for the other one it's just driving from point A to point B. So very straightforward, very simple and the best part about this first setup is you actually get rewarded with a nice two and a half thousand RP for literally the most basic setup known to man. However once you guys have completed the first setup you'll be greeted with this cutscene or go straight into it and you'll move into the second setup which is basically to steal an armoured Karuma. If you guys haven't done this, once again, I'm going to break it down how you can do so very easily. If you guys also own a Karuma, then it's just practically impossible to fail. However, once you guys have watched the cutscene, you'll be greeted with the lobby menu. You want to go ahead and put the difficulty to hard so you get that extra RP and cash. And also maybe buy a body armor if you guys haven't got any. As this is a shooting mission and body armor only costs $500. And when you guys are going to be making 220 k every hour, that is literally pennies. However, you want to go ahead and select your outfit for the job any outfit can do it doesn't make a difference just whatever you guys prefer now as i did mention earlier all it takes is for one of you to have an armored karuma as a personal vehicle to make this literally a walk in the park as you can see that's my teammate he doesn't have an armored karuma however behind us i do i'm pretty sure most of you guys do have an armored karuma or you'll be able to find someone who does as it is by far the most popular car in gta 5 i'm pretty sure rockstar like released some i think it was some stats a couple of weeks ago and it showed like the sales of each vehicle and stuff and karuma just smashed it the next one down i think was the zentorno and the Ado. but this car right here if you guys don't own it fucking what are you doing with your life <laughs> sorry to be frank but you need to get this car before it's extinct just like the roosevelt take my word for it i'm pretty sure you won't be able to buy this car within a few months on gta however saying that the first time i did do this setup i didn't own a karuma and we've done it our first go so most of you guys should be able to do this you just have to basically go to this car park which you can see me at now and then steal an armored karuma funny enough the car that we're currently in so if you guys are going to do it on foot there is a stairways in this car park. It shouldn't take you that long to find it. It's near a fire exit. And what you guys can basically do is just go to the door at the top floor and just keep poking your head out or shoot around the corner and just take out all the enemies. There should be a gang of like Koreans. They don't respawn or anything. This is why it's extremely easy to do on foot. So you just got to pick them off slowly. But like I said, if you guys have got an armored Karuma, don't waste no time. Just do what we do. Drive straight in there and spray the fuck out of everyone. Leave no witnesses. However, as you can see, once you kill everyone the black karuma should just be right at the end of this car park jump straight out of your car get into that car and then from here you just basically want to deliver it to Leicester. now the driver all you have to do is drive there you do get a few koreans trying to come out and shoot you up however you are an armored karuma after all so they don't really do that much damage to you However, what I would say is pick these guys off as it can be pretty annoying because they do come in big SUVs and stuff like running into you, just delaying the mission basically. However, these guys shouldn't really be a problem with you. I have never died once doing this setup and I've done it quite a few times. However, once you guys have delivered the Karuma, that is basically the second setup done. And you will also receive a nice 2k RP, which I'm surprised they are still giving considering that's the RP for most 15 minute missions. And all you're doing here is a simple setup. So make the most of this guys while it's still paying this and giving you the RP. However, once you've got the RP, you are now ready to do the final heist, which is the big boy payment. Once again, very easy, very straightforward. I'm also going to show you guys the elite challenges because it gets to the point where 
the main heist is so easy you're better off going for the elite challenges every time like i forgot about the elite challenges the first time we recorded this so we basically done two out of three of the elite challenges without remembering the elite challenges that's how easy they was we done them by accident the only elite challenge that i'm going to say for you guys to really watch out for and try and get is complete the heist in under five minutes 20. now obviously you guys are here because you want to make money and you want to make it quick and easy so this is kind of more of an initiative and that's kind of showing you that rockstar saying look this is possible for you guys to complete this final heist in under five minutes which i'm pretty sure after one or two goes you'll notice you kind of get the hang of it more and you should be able to smash out those elite challenges once again if you do complete the elite challenges on this final heist you will be receiving a bonus fifty thousand dollars so it really is worth going for and considering the elite challenges are pretty straightforward and basic as you can see on screen now pull them up so feel free to pause the video or even add it to your favorite so you can come back and look at these elite challenges if you are going to go ahead and do this method so as i mentioned complete the final heist under five minutes 20 seconds nobody gets wasted which means nobody dies vehicle damage takes under six percent and i'm going to be showing you how to do that in a second plus do not use the trip skip option now if you guys have played this heist before you will notice that you can skip little parts of the driving missions that i showed you earlier so what you got to do is basically do those parts of the missions instead of just skipping them however once you guys are in the final heist lobby menu like always set the difficulty to hard and then put it on matchmaking off you don't want any random people joining your um, thing wasting your time you just want to put it on invite from last job and as you can see my crew member shows up just on time now another thing worth mentioning is before the actual heist starts you're going to be greeted with this message board this is basically where you can choose the job role of either player so one of you are going to be a driller and one of you are going to be a driver don't worry i'm going to show you guys both points of view in this video so you can kind of get a good idea if you haven't played this job before however more importantly it's the part in the middle which you want to watch out for and this is the percent that you get from the payout now the host of the actual heist as some of you guys might know has to pay an initial fee to start the job the fleet of job is extremely cheap to start only cost around eleven thousand dollars as you can see in the top right so i would suggest making the host to get 55 percent just so he can cover his expenses of actually starting the heist up and then likewise when you replay the mission you'll just let your friend take the same percent you took in the first heist so whether it's 60 70 80 percent whatever you want to take just make sure you know the person that you're doing the heist with if you guys don't know it then that's why i said just leave it at 55 percent so the host can cover his expenses and you're basically earning the same however if you do know this person you're both on the headsets you know there's no reason why you can't just let one person get 60 percent then the next heist let them get 60 percent as long as there's a bit of trust there and you kind of know the person you should be good to go however if you don't know the person don't do the mission unless they're only taking 55% and you're getting 45%. I'm going to tell you guys straight up, there's a lot of sneaky, snaky people and you shouldn't really trust the randoms. However, once you guys have selected the percentages, you've got your costumes, you basically got to head over to Leicester's and pick up the Karuma. The Driller, who I am, will have to complete another little mini game as you can see on screen now. Very simple, it's just getting one dot to the other. Most of you guys should be able to complete these. However, once you've done that, you pull up outside the bank, as you guys can see on screen now. Once you pull up outside the bank the driller just seems to have to pull up his phone you have to select this little app which is in the bottom right which is going to unlock the vault for you as you can see on screen now once the vault is unlocked you guys want to press left on the d-pad to equip your mask once you guys have got your mask on you want to head inside the bank now as quick as possible you want to take out four security cameras ideally you guys should take out two cameras each the driller should take out these two which is basically on the way to the vault because the other player is currently keeping crowd control i will show you guys what he's doing in a second however as you can see all you have to do is go over to this wall press right on the d-pad and you should start the drilling process this is very simple you just gotta kind of slightly hold down lt while pushing it forward it might take a little while getting used to if you've never done it before but most of you guys should be able to do this pretty straightforward and simple one little tip i'm going to give you guys if the drill of the driller starts to overheat just simply release the trigger or the fire button for the drill and it will simply cool down much quicker if you continually hold it it will take longer to cool down especially if you guys are trying to go for the elite challenges you want to try and save as much time as possible now while the driller is drilling the vault i'm going to show you guys what the driver should be doing during the drilling so we're going to take off from where you enter the bank as the driver you have got four cameras to take out well i say four when there's actually six cameras because there's two outside as well however i always take them out i'm not sure if you have to a lot of people told me that unnecessary don't have to take them out however i take no risks at all however as you can see i took out all the cameras indoors and now the two cameras outside 
outdoors, there's one on this side, the right side, and there's another one just behind you on the left side. Once you've taken out all the cameras, your job from here is to basically control the witnesses slash hostages. If you are going to take out the cameras outside like I do, make sure you keep popping in just to point the gun at them and just basically shoot the gun around their body. Make sure you don't actually shoot these guys because like I said, you're only supposed to intimidate them. In the bottom right corner, you can see there's an intimidation bar. You just want to keep that bar full. That kind of shows you how intimidated they are. There is only three witnesses, one behind the desk and two on the floor. So very easy to control. Shouldn't be a problem. However, once the main driller has finished drilling, you guys want to run outside the bank and get straight back in the car now i did say earlier in the video i'm going to show you guys how you can do the elite challenge where you take less than six percent car damage so that's going to be on the driver so i'm going to switch back to the driver's point of view okay so if you guys are playing as the driver and you're talking on the headset as soon as the guy finishes with the drill you want to head straight outside and be ready in the car for him so you can just jump straight in as you can see so the police aren't in front of you once you've done that you just want to take off straight away and basically just follow the route i take here so as you can see you can actually dodge the first two police barriers however there is one that you've got hit on the corner there's no way you can get around it that is basically the six percent the game will let you take so as you can see i just stick to the right sides skim past them right there like a pro this is me driving this ain't my teammate just to make things clear however it is worth noting you also get an xbox achievement or a playstation trophy for doing this take no damage so for the second barrier you want to take it down the left side as you see me do and for this third barrier you have to hit through it so just try and make it a clean swift impact if you guys don't know you slam down acceleration when you're going into it drop it and then hit it again like that so literally that's it the six percent is done the three barriers are passed all you have to do now is drive it to the cargo bob and just time it perfectly so you can land underneath it now a few people not a lot depending on your connection have had issues with this even though this is pretty much the most straightforward and basic part of the heist all you have to do drive the karuma underneath the cargo bob the cargo bob will then lift it up and there you go guys mission complete heist done however once you guys complete the heist you'll get greeted with this little cutscene right here and you guys will see you'd have just under 300k to split two ways which is just insane and if you guys can remember because i took 60 percent because i knew my friend and he would take 60 percent the next time we've done it i receive a little bit more than he does which is an insane 172 thousand dollars holy fucking shit plus if you want to take into account all the rp we earned including the setup so we're going to be earning well over 17,000 RP and another great thing about this method is once you repeat it this will always remain the same the final payout will never decrease or increase it stays at around that nice 300k mark and this time as you guys can see it just took us barely over 10 minutes to complete the final one and the first two previous setups took about five minutes each so all in all about 20 minutes only spent in this mission and like I did mention earlier in the video this time I decided to take 40% because my friend took 40% last time and as you guys can still see it bags me well over a hundred K so if you guys do want to do some very very quick maths combine this payment with my previous payment if we was to do this heist one more time I'd be earning a very nice half a million give or take for grinding this method so hands down one of the best methods you guys should definitely be grinding out as of right now especially with the gun running DLC coming out I can see that DLC being one of the most expensive DLCs in history Rockstar games have never been this kind offering so many guns that money in rp promotions i cannot emphasize definitely get on your grind boys make the most of this as most of you guys probably know once you've just played the heist it won't let you play it for another little while so what you want to do from here is basically just get your friend that you've done the heist with to go over to his apartment and do what you've done originally just start off the heist and to send you the invite and so as you guys can see on screen now once you accept his invite there you go you can basically just keep replaying this fleecer job once you've done it with him then you host the job and just keep repeating the process as many times as you want so there we go guys an insane unlimited money method working on all consoles after all the latest patches any of you guys can do this method as long as you have a high-end apartment and remember if you guys need a crew member or a friend do be sure just to leave a comment down below and i'm pretty sure someone will get back to you straight away also feel free to go and join my crew i'll leave a link to them down below in the description i've been your host laser gaming if you guys have enjoyed this video do be sure to drop a like down below feel free to subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in my next video